What's up guys, Skip the Africanus here, and in today's video we got a neat little thing we're going to be testing out. We're going to be seeing if some higher powered ammunition can make the little 9mm go a little further. Or rather, go a little further a little more accurately. Realistically, I'm only going to be shooting this out to 200 yards, which y you can hit a target at 200. Um, you do get into the variables of guessing when you're shooting, or ha kind of having a gamble because the wind likes to throw it off, so... You can, it can be done at 200 yards shooting a 9mm, but I'm going to see if some higher pressure ammo makes that a little easier. And I figured, why not film it while I'm testing it out? So we got four different types of ammunitions we're going to be doing of various pressure uh, scales. The first one we got is regular 9mm, 115 grains actually. So regular 115 grain, 9mm, pretty standard stuff. Then we got some 9mm NATO 124 grains. Next up, we have more 9mm NATO, 124 grain plus peas, though. Um, actually, to be honest, uh, I was under the assumption that 9mm NATO was supposed to be like in between regular 9mm and plus P ammo. And while this one specifically doesn't say a plus P and this one does, they very well could be the same damn thing. But yeah, I, I, did, I looked it up into in, it a little bit and... Uh, it seemed like 9mm NATO was less than a plus P, but they might, they might be the same thing and we're testing the same thing out, whatever. And then lastly, I got a box of some plus P plus. Now, I didn't really notice until I had left the store and was at home that these are 115 grainers. To be honest, I would have rather gone with the heavier bullet, like at least a 124, but more in the realm of like a 147 grain bullet. But eh, we'll see if some a little extra powder still kind of helps these out. After all... Usually I run the 115 normal 9mm ammo when I'm shooting at targets like 15, or I mean, uh, my bad, 200 yards away, so maybe with the extra powder will still be a little helpful. And then to add, of course, we were shooting this out of the CX-4 Storm, 16-inch uh, barrel, so we're getting that full burn potential and all that. We'll see how it does in this thing. Now, I did look in the manual just to make sure that, uh, you know, plus P, plus P, plus isn't going to explode. The, I mean, I assume plus P is not going to explode, but plus P, plus might get a little weird with it. The manual did not specifically say, do not use it in this thing. It said not to use submachine gun ammo, which is actually even more potent than plus P+, plus, but plus P+, plus is perfectly fine, supposedly, in this thing. Now, yes, I understand it's going to wear down parts and all that stuff. This is more just a video made out of curiosity, and to be honest, when I shoot 200-yard targets, it's like minimum once a month, and it's, it's not that much use. So anyways, let's see if uh, all these ammos help out with longer distance shooting. So before I start shooting at 200 yards, I figured why not start off closer at 11 yards. That's what my slide is actually zeroed at. And I figured before we tackle the long range shooting, let's make sure there's no like real big accuracy differences between like the hotter stuff versus the normal stuff. As that was one thing that I have heard is when you tend to run hotter stuff, it, it tends to be a little less accurate. And depending on how inaccurate it is, I mean, it, it might, you know, it, that extra power might carry the round further, but it won't matter too much if uh, it's not even near the target. So I figured, why not test out some closer ranges, starting off at 11 yards. So all in all, not looking too bad. One thing I will mention is uh, I do recall kind of setting a bad shot with that plus B plus. So you'll see this little straggler right here. Uh, for the most part, though, the rest of them pretty darn good, actually on par with the normal 9mm. Now, as per the 9mm NATO made by Winchester, um, I think this might have been a straggler as well, uh, kind of like with a plus P. Uh, to be honest, I kind of don't recall on that one specifically, but, you know... Four out of the five shots are in a pretty tight group right there. The 9mm plus P by SIG actually was a little bit open, I noticed. And there's definitely something where we will notice uh, when I actually do start to shoot at the 200-yard steel targets. Uh, you'll see, uh, well, I won't spoil it, you'll kind of see how the 9mm plus P made by SIG actually performs. But anyways, we're going to now be pushing the target out to 25 yards. Uh, we'll see if there's any differences between, you know, the groupings. And then after that, we'll push it to the full 200 yards. Yeah, I bet you want that. Okay, 
Okay, guys. All right. Have a good night. You too. Well. Oh, well. And here's our final target at 25 yards. Now, it does appear that I threw some bad shots on all the ammo types except for the Winchester 9mm NATO, but for the most part, um, pretty good groupings. Uh, I will say, like, obviously the plus P plus, we're starting to see that open up. Uh, the plus P is just flat out completely opening up, kind of like it was on the last target. But when it comes to, like, the normal 9, that's just running perfectly fine. And then the 9mm NATO made by Winchester, uh, it's not doing too bad. I guess, honestly, it looks a little bit close to the plus P+, plus, but overall, the normal 9 still is a little more accurate. Which, again, that's what I had always been hearing was, uh, when you get to the higher pressure ammunitions, uh, it's not too surprising to see a little bit of accuracy loss. But that being said, I still think it's in the realm of, you know accurate so we're gonna try this now out at 200 yards and one little problem is it's kind of hard to hear the hits uh i was reviewing the footage and i got i counted four because i was counting while i was there but i could really only hear three pings um and i think my voice is covering one of them right now but i'm gonna keep the number of hits of course in the top left screen for each ammunition type and then lastly of course it was out of 20 rounds i was gonna do 20 rounds of each ammunition type because one of the ammunition types uh, i only had 20 rounds left um so yeah, it'll be like, for this one, 4 out of 20 hits, and then so on and so forth.
all these uh, Russian surplus duds. Okay. You know, this lady at Family Vet Care, she likes to work family a lot. Alright, so overall, it did seem like the plus P plus in particular kind of helped with that 200 yard shooting. We definitely landed two more hits than the standard nine, and these two, it was four more hits for both of them. They both landed two out of 20 hits. Though, so that being said, uh, personally, I feel like, you know, six out of 20 hits versus, you know, four out of 20 versus two out of 20 for these. I feel like they're still a little bit too close to really call it, uh, whether or not the plus P plus definitely helped, or if I just got lucky on the wind. And to further add to uh, the reason why I think that too, I actually had 10 rounds of the plus P plus left um, after filming, and I was like, why not just start slinging them at 200 yards, I'll just throw the rest of these out there. And uh, I only actually got one hit with the plus P plus. Now, to be fair, I was a little bit tired, you know, and, uh, you know, probably not trying my absolute best to hit that target, but... Yeah, overall, I kind of feel like it's a little bit too close to call it. Um, the one thing that I will be trying, however, I guess two things to be fair. I do want to actually see if different bullet weights uh, would change the outcome, because these, as mentioned, were like 115 grains, maybe 147 grain would do a little bit better. But um, before that, I'm actually going to try running this at a match, or more specifically, this brand of Plus P Plus as I shot all this stuff. But uh, I got a match this Saturday, and you know, Sometimes in field trials, you might notice it does a little bit better. Um, so no guarantee that I will be able to actually test that out at the match because while they do like to throw 200 yard targets at that match, sometimes they throw 100 yard targets. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna run normal nine if it's a 100 yard target because I have no issue hitting that with normal nine. But hopefully they will throw out the 200 yard targets. Um, I'm gonna be honest, call me weird, but I like when they throw them out anyways. Uh, I just find them fun to try and shoot at, but uh, yeah, hopefully they'll throw the 200 yard targets out and we can revisit this a little bit, you know, sooner. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to have to wait another month because this is tends to be the only two gun where I can run a PCC and they'll do targets at that distance. So uh, I guess stay tuned for that and uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video as much as I most certainly enjoyed making it and I will see y'all next time.